Hello and welcome, and thank you for taking some time to learn about Cloudflare, our SASE platform and our Zero Trust services. We're going to talk today about how we can utilize these services to help you secure public institutions. Before diving in on that, let's take a minute to define Zero Trust. I think it's best to assume we all mean the same thing when we say Zero Trust, but let's talk about what it means to Cloudflare. Zero Trust is obviously not a product, but a mindset shift. We're looking about uh, we're looking back at the previous model of using the perimeter as a basis for security policy, and the perimeter is gone, as we all know. Users, applications, and data no longer reside on a protected network like they once did. Gone also in the days of trusting users based on location with implicit access. So these users work in remote applications in the public cloud or SaaS apps on the web. There is no perimeter, so we have to assume increased risk, exposure to threats. So with this risk, we have to reduce this risk by encrypting the data that's going between users and applications and inspecting the data. We're logging all the activity and we're using an identity-based default deny approach and we're applying least privilege access as well. So Zero Trust is a framework that covers many aspects of networking and security. But for organizations that are early in their Zero Trust journey, we'll talk about the most common use cases, the most logical place to start. First, it's eliminating VPN pains, augmenting and replacing your legacy VPN with a modern approach to securing remote access to applications. This includes the ability to provide secure remote access for unmanaged machines in a clientless fashion, BYOD use case. We're also going to talk about providing protection against credential harvesting at the front door through email filtering. We'll spend some time talking about how to protect campuses or agencies through DNS filtering in our secure web gateway. And this applies to users that are on campus or are remote. And finally, it's important to point out when we're talking about these use cases, this is based on experience. We've had a number of organizations. We have a large municipality in the state of Arizona that utilize Cloudflare One for their VPN replacement. We have another uh, state university in Arizona that applied Cloudflare One via the to stop phishing and business email compromise through our email security. And finally, we have a couple of other uh, state agencies that have utilized uh, the full breadth of Cloudflare One to address just about all the use cases that you see here on the screen. So a lot of success doing this in the past as well. I want to talk about Cloudflare One, but I want to give you a sense of where it fits in the larger portfolio. You see that we have our Cloudflare application services. Um, most, most organizations are very familiar with this. We have our developer platform, and then we have our Cloudflare One. So Cloudflare One is a combination of our network services you see on the right-hand side and our zero trust or security services you see on the left-hand side. All of these services are delivered in a cloud-native platform. And together, we call them Cloudflare One. That's our brand name for our SASE platform. All of this, Cloudflare One, SASE Zero Trust, application services, developer platform, is delivered on the Cloudflare backbone. This is a global back backbone. We use in any cast architecture. What this means is all our services are running in every single data center, every single pop. Uh, this is critically important. Uh, whether you're accessing applications through Zero Trust Network Access, or if you're utilizing the Secure Web Gateway, or maybe you're using our remote browser isolation, it's going to be running in every single data center and every pop. And what this means for your users is the best performance, the best experience. And so this is a critical piece of how we deliver these services. And this also is, uh, because we don't have the concept of regions or zones, you know, from an administrative perspective, whether you're updating a policy that's distributed globally, whether you're applying threat intelligence, whether, um, you know, we're updating a service, there are no separate clouds, there are no separate zones. So best user experience, best admin experience, and reduces complexity from an administrative perspective. Another major benefit of running Cloudflare services on the Cloudflare backbone is the threat intelligence. Given who we are, we have just a breadth, a corpus of threat intelligence. It's coming from the 3 trillion plus DNS requests that we see. 
on a daily basis. It's coming from the millions of properties on the internet we protect with our reverse proxy. And it's coming from the crawlers that we have from our email, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But we take all of this threat intelligence from all our services and we curate it through machine learning, uh, human analysis, et cetera. And we're able to apply this to stop phishing campaigns, to block malware, to allow you to use additional risk categories for your security policy through our secure web gateway. One area where the threat intelligence has an immediate benefit is with our DNS filtering. This is most often a very common place for organizations to start with zero trust. And that's because you get the, the most bang for your buck here. So with DNS filtering, uh, Cloudflare has one of the fastest and most reliable DNS services available. Um, implementing DNS at a campus or agency is, is a low lift with a very fast time to value. So it's a matter of standing up a tunnel at a facility or a site or using the device client, which is our warp agent. Once this is in place, you're gonna be able to block access to potentially risky sites at the domain or URL level with a massive corpus of threat intelligence, which includes about 100 plus categories of pre-built lists for you to utilize and easily block access to these malicious or risky sites. Another benefit of DNS filtering, again, very easy to stand up. And once it's there, you can apply policy based on location or IP address, what we refer to as DNS endpoints. So this allows you to apply a policy for an agency, um, one agency versus another, or faculty versus students. Gives you great flexibility from, from that perspective. And again, this is all while giving you improved performance, improved security, and it's actually uh, a an improved cost uh, point as well. The next logical place that we talk about on the zero trust journey is zero trust network access. We're talking about replacing or augmenting VPN. So this is the modern approach to secure remote access for internal applications and resources. We're gonna give you an improved user experience through better performance. And this is the building block for implementing zero trust policies across your security ecosystem. You can see here that users can utilize access via the warp client, or they can do it without a client. We protect the applications and resources to the use of a reverse proxy tunnel. Uh, we integrate with most identity providers. So we are, Cloudflare is not an identity provi provider, but we integrate with all the, the major identity providers. And we can work with multiple identity providers in a single account or tenant. And if you don't see an integration, if they're running SAML or OIDC, that will work as well. We can gather additional telemetry like risk score, et cetera, from tools that are running, say, a CrowdStrike or other EDR like Sentinel One. And we can also gather telemetry from our own Warp device client for device posture. Next, we're talking about Secure Web Gateway. So this Secure Web Gateway protects users from internet-related threats. So access is protecting applications and resources for internal access. Secure Web Gateway is protecting internet-bound traffic. We filter on DNS, which we talked about the capabilities there, network and HTTP filtering as well, which allows us to protect all ports, all protocols. And it works in concert with our work client or an IPsec or GRE tunnel, which you can stand up a, at a agency or a campus. So again, um, multiple ways, flexible options for connecting to the Cloudflare Edge, running in all the data centers, all the POPs. Um, gateway also logs also provide visibility into your internet and web traffic across all users, devices, and locations. So visibility is a key piece of zero trust. And our secure web gateway is the conduit to additional services like our some of our data protection offerings, as well as remote browser isolation. With remote browser isolation, here's a great tool that complements our access capabilities and our um, internet threat protection capabilities by insulating local devices from malware and malicious code. The way we do this is we're running all the browser code on Cloudflare's global network in these data centers, in these POPs, while providing a lightning fast browsing experience for end users. The way we do this is through a combination of our network capacity and reach plus a technology called network vector rendering. What this means is simply, instead of using pixel pushing, which a lot of remote browser isolation tools have used in the past, 
We're using something called skia draw commands. Net result for you is a much better user experience. Uh, previous RBI technology using pixel pushing has very, been a very poor user performance and experience. And so this network vector rendering plus our global reach allows us to run the code in the Cloudflare data center, draw the web page back to the user. This means they do not have to deploy an enterprise browser. Uh, this is compatible with any HTML5 browser. And this is a great way to not only protect users and networks from running malicious code, but if you happen to be using, say, ChatGPT or other AI tool, we can implement data control type controls through remote browser isolation. So if you want to um, block file download, file upload, copy, paste, print, et cetera, we can do this through the remote browser isolation. And then we talk about email security. This is another great, great place to implement zero trust. Cloudflare is actually the only vendor that sells email security as part of their zero trust solution. And the reason for this is over 90% of the success, successful attacks start with a phishing campaign or credential harvesting. And so our email security is fully cloud-based. It's a low lift additional layer of email filtering. We stop malicious email and spam, and we provide a focus on the lower volume but higher impact phishing and business email compromise campaigns, which can be trickier to detect. And the way we do this is from its inception, Email security, formerly Area One, has taken a proactive approach. And the way they do this is with you know, our web crawler, second only to Google, our email security uses the world's second largest web crawler to detect actor and campaign in infrastructure. So we're finding new dam domains, brand domains, et cetera. And we can detect emails sourced from these attackers and prevent them from reaching your inbox. Another approach that we use is uh, machine learning and language modeling. So there's a lot of different uh, capabilities here at the bottom of the screen, but what I wanna talk about is social engineering is a way that threat actors use to compromise email without malicious attachments or code attached. So the way to attack this is, again, because this is completely cloud-based, we have the power, we have the capability to run this analysis in the cloud and then detect what's normal versus abnormal, what's what's acceptable versus unacceptable. How often do these do these parties communicate? What's the intent? What's the context? So this is another great way of not requiring you to maintain rules, but using the power of the cloud and using the power of the proactive approach and machine learning to detect um, social engineering campaigns. And our email security is flexible. So we can run in front of your email, primary email solution, and detect and block phishing campaigns before they reach your user's inbox. We can also run in API mode where we can review messages as they are hitting the inbox. This allows us to alter the disposition uh, and we can either manually or automatically retract emails or not, but if you're interested in retracting emails, that can be done manually or automatically in the API mode. And FishGuard is our managed service that complements our email security product for the experts. The most popular service related to FishGuard is assisting in the review of fish mail submissions. So we hear very often that organizations spend a lot of time getting fish email submissions, it takes time and energy and hours away from core tasks and using the FishGuard service is a great way to recover a lot of hours and get very accurate um, Detections, detections and dispositions on, on those campaigns. FishGuard also helps with um, custom detections, which is very rare, again, this, given that we're not rules-based, but more using uh, machine learning, et cetera. But if there is a unique circumstance where you need a custom detection, the FishGuard team can help with that. So in summary, Cloudflare connects users wherever they are with flexible on-ramps to the full suite of Cloudflare One services. We also protect internal applications where they reside. So again, whether that's in a data center, public cloud, or in a SaaS app out in the internet, uh, we're doing this all while improving performance and delivering the full suite of these services. 
and a single pass inspection closest to the end user and the application and data. We also integrate with, as I mentioned, identity providers, SIM providers, and other tools that we've already invested in. I hope you found this session useful and thank you for your time and attention.